You've heard about SOPA? Not yet. Not yet? Students over traditional age know that's SOPA. No, 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 no. It's the, the Privacy Act for the Internet. It's the, oh, God. The piracy. Oh, oh um... Do you know, did you hear that Wikipedia is going off off air? Yeah, Wikipedia, a lot of them are tomorrow. They did. Yeah. Are they already? Going, well, yeah, tomorrow they will. Um, if Wikipedia goes down, Google's going to lose its clout. I'm not kidding. The very first thing that you hit when you put something into Google, almost always the most Wikipedia. looked at site is Wiki. Yeah, of course. Wiki goes away and Google's um, stranglehold on people's attention on the internet will be diminished right um, but I think so that might be smart I for think Google that, holders I think to sell tonight they should have sold this afternoon but you know I think that they I think that if it comes to pass that they uh, that they pass well the law says that every single place where you can download anything movie music anything for free they will all now officially be shut. Uh, if you shut them all down, um, the amount of Google references that all those have, uh, where you can start at Google and get there, or you can start there and go to Google or whatever, the amount of linkage with Google is so heavy, uh, it, that plus Wiki going down, um, and they will, they will inadvertently have opened the door for um, such things as uh, being charged a nickel to open an email and a dime to send one out. Get ready. Once that law passes, the, the door is open for that. Right. So who's going to make the money? I mean, if it wasn't for Cisco, there's no internet. Does Cisco get to charge? Who gets to charge the money for this now? Your ISP? You better believe your ISP. Oh man, give us a break. Start stealing computers. Huh? Start stealing computers. Stealing? Yeah, so you can get a different ISP now. Right? They can't track your location. So what? They're still going to charge you money to use it. Thanks so much. You can use fake identity anymore, though. No? Well, I hope they never charge people to use it. But it's obvious that the U.S. I mean, did you see the thing on YouTube? Did I send you that about FEMA? No. I don't know if the guy's right or not, but there's a guy, a very well-respected journalist, who's got the story. FEMA has built uh, something like 28 um, camps. Right. We've talked about this. Yeah, emergency camps that could hold a million people. And now they've uh, they've bought they've uh, hired the security guards. Right. Yeah. The, the day after the NDAA went into yeah. effect, that's yeah. when they signed it. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. KBR or whatever, and they're, they're a Halliburton it's, subsidy. Yes, they are a Halliburton subsidy. Now you're catching on. Halliburton had as bad an accounting malfeasance as Enron. And the CEO of Halliburton during the malfeasance, because Halliburton is a cover for the CIA, just like Schlumberger, they're both their, their main business is to seal and protect all oil reserves. That's not very far from being the CIA. And so they are a cover for that. And when Cheney cooked the books badly and he was about to have to go to jail, he was put on George Bush's exploratory committee to find a vice president and he picked himself. And then he made sure that uh, KBR and Halliburton were the only logistics guys for a war that they cooked up in Iraq. And before you know it, the multi-billion dollar, multi-multi, hundreds of maybe over a hundred billion dollars uh, of accounting malfeasance goes away because they earn the money doing the logistics for the whole war. Wow. And how many uh, mercenaries do we have? 58 or 60,000 mercenaries in Iraq? Unpaid warriors? Wow. Oh, with no rules. Just go and start shooting. And, and no accountability. And out of, uh, you know, all our soldiers are out of Iraq? Okay, but the mercenaries aren't out of there. And the advisors, like Vietnam had advisors, but they still got 13,000 advisors and probably 20,000 mercenaries. You know, a soldier makes two grand a month and the mercenary makes 20 grand a month. It's messed up, man. Yeah, uh, in fact, I, I know some people personally that. How got many out. veterans do you know that are homeless? How many, what percentage of homeless people are, are war veterans? Yeah, too many. You don't want to know. I mean, it's, that's where it gets ugly. 
we can go ahead to the shelter here and find a couple of uh, Vietnam and newer war veterans that are homeless right here in Chapel Hill. I know because I worked with them in the liter literacy council. I uh, yeah, I have a friend that got into with um, Halliburton. Bah. And uh, and that sort, and he was making fourteen hundred a day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, alrighty then. That's forty two grand a month. Well, if you work on a seven day week, and usually in the war it's a seven day week. And they have the best fucking equipment. They get Better whatever. than the army. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. They get top dollar, bro. They, have, well, they get top dollar, since not they fucking have, lowest bidder. Since they also have no rules, they need the best equipment because they're doing the most damage on the ground. Mm -hmm. Neighborhood by neighborhood. What are we blowing today, Ralphie? No, it's a tough life. And I think China, if, if the Iran thing gets going, you know, China's the number one importer of Iranian oil. China gets 30% of their oil from Iran alone. If the U.S. or uh, our wonderful allies in Israel <coughs> um, decide to go bombs away on Iran, it's not going to be funny. Think about this. Iraq had 10,000 soldiers and it took us three years to even get a foothold. Iran's got 280,000 soldiers, not 10, 280,000. They have over 150 hidden um, surface-to-air missile bases to knock down any plane you got flying anywhere. And, and, and it, it would be, it's a disaster on wheels. Once that gets cooking, the whole world goes kaflui. And if the U.S. economy goes bad, we will make another war. And it won't be Iraq size, it'll be world size. So North Korea is just uh, doing enough stupid stuff to be an excuse to start something there. Obama says we're pulling out of the Middle East. He's c focusing on Asia. He's moving more Navy. They're building a Navy base in Jejudo. Big, huge Navy base for the U.S. Navy, which is an island south of Korea. Shit, my parents might be right. South Korea is not always the best place to be right Wild world, man. If the economy goes bad, though, you can count on another big war. That's the American way. It just is. Kind of sad. How many, how many wars does it take? <clears throat> and really, what did which country benefited from us going to war on quote unquote their behalf? We know we'll go to war on our own behalf, Nicaragua. You know, you're not going to grow your corns and beans, all right? You're not going to be Hugo Chavez and give the land back to the peasants without risking uh, annihilation. Well, we bought, we've been bombing Colombia 19, no, 21 years, bombing the southern half of Colombia the whole time, spraying it with Monsanto's deadliest uh, killer weed whacker bullshit so that none of the farmers can grow anything. Why? because the southern Amazon Valley's got all the oil in Colombia. And we don't even want to pay the locals a dollar a month to go dig all of it up. So we force them from the land, take that land for free. How many times has that made the nightly news lately? <laughs>